While IP Digital is all the rage today, we've been pushing signals digitally for almost 30 years with SDI. So if IP and SDI are both digital, what's the big deal about IP? So it gives us immense flexibility and a whole lot more power as we adapt to new formats into the broadcast and into the content creation ecosystem. Hello everyone, I'm Tiffany Haley from Grass Valley at Belden Brand, and this is Five in Five, five questions in about five minutes. In this episode, we're talking with recently inducted SIMPTI fellow, Chuck Meyer, Chief Technology Officer of Production for Grass Valley, about why one type of digital is so much better for broadcasters and media companies than another. Chuck, I want to start this conversation with you thinking back to 1989 and SIMPTI's standardization of 259M for SDSDI. How did that affect an industry rooted in analog? In 1989, when we went from analog to digital, it, it was a format change. It caused us to change how we did our workflow because the digital system was kind of new. It, it had some buffering and some little minor delays. But basically, we just converted an analog signal to digital and we didn't change a thing in our workflow. With IP, it's a total change in the workflow and how we do everything. But, you know, SDI is still with us today, and it's evolving to handle faster data rates, including 12G and 24G for 4K UHD signals. So what was the impetus for IP to enter a media infrastructure? The, the change from SD, then HD, then 12 gig, it's been a very logical progression up until 12 gig. Because at, at 12 gig, We've really started to push the technology. That's a, that's a lot of data to push down a piece of coax. So we, we now have a number of different formats. We have to have more flexibility in how we get the signal between the piece of equipment. So just changing the bit rate wasn't enough to let us get where we need to. So IP gives us a more flexible bit rate. It gives us a bit rate that's moving dynamically much faster from the computer industry than what we would traditionally move for things purpose built for broadcast. So it gives us the new platform we need for the next generation of video. So how does moving from SDI to IP affect the traditional aspects of broadcasting like production, storage, infrastructure, and play out? It's, it's different in each case, but it's a significant change. If we look at playout, taking them in reverse order, playout, we can now do some things that are far more flexible. We hear people talk about the desire to want to play out from the cloud. We can develop the media. We can push it to the cloud. We can play it out uh, in different formats at different times. It's, it's much more flexible for us, like a giant PVR for the broadcast factory. If we look at infrastructure, this is really an enormous change, and it has a lot of impact on the manufacturers in this industry. Now when we move to IP, we're moving to another industry, to the telecommunications and to the data industry, and saying, look, you're going to provide our infrastructure because you can give us more flexible bandwidth than we had before. Storage has its own impact because we have... Local storage for things we want to do very, very quickly, fast file cache, caching, excuse me, fast file caching for uh, near line, near online editing to get that ready news right out the door. On the other hand, we want to have storage in the cloud to make it a little cheaper, a little more economic, not have to pay the bill every time we want to spin up more disk. At live production, we have a very unique challenge because we're taking these new technologies, the storage, the cloud, the new pipe to connect the equipment, and we want to give that technical crew who's out there shooting the live event, we want to give them that live, instantaneous feel they need to produce the highest quality content. And in each one of these, how we manage IP technology is different and unique, and it's how Grass Valley is uh, really going after helping its customers to use the new technology for what it's valuable for, but not have to change the prior workflows. Help me understand this, uh, Chuck. Well, SDI and IP are both carrying program essence and metadata. How do they differ and how they do that? SDI was a very 
strict, very exact way of taking information like the video picture, the, like the audio channels, and and some metadata and putting it together, and exactly where every piece of information was known in advance. If I take IP, I can take those apart. It's easier to say, here's the video, here's the audio, and here's the metadata. So it gives us immense flexibility and a whole lot more power as we adapt new formats into the broadcast and into the content creation ecosystem. Recently, we've seen organizations starting to do cloud-based playout, which, as you know, is only possible with IP. Is today's technology truly mature enough to handle real-time streams and house valuable assets in the cloud, or do you think there are still some major caveats? So there is one caveat, Tiffany, and that's security. There's a lot of concern about having your assets out in the cloud because one, maybe somebody might come and copy, illegally copy that asset. And two, somebody might manipulate that asset. So that's really where there's a lot of focus in the industry. And it's not so much about the technology to get the video or the media to the home. It's much more about ensuring the security and therefore integrity of the content. And that's five questions in about five minutes with Chuck Meyer, Chief Technology Officer of Production for Grass Valley. Thanks for joining us. We'll speak again with you soon.